Hey guys, um, I just want to make this video to show you some of the um, NASCAR stuff I have, starting with hats. I'm a big collector of hats, and this is not even like half of them, this is like a third of the hats I have. I have like a variety of NASCAR, baseball, football, and this San Diego hats in general because I'm from San Diego, so I'll stop rambling and get started. <laughs> The very first hat, a NASCAR hat, I've had ever gotten was my first um, NAS <clears throat> NASCAR race in 2006 of October. So, no, September or October, one of those months. But um, I was 14 going on 15 that year, so for being a fan for as long as I have, that was my very, surprisingly, my very first um, NASCAR race. And it was a pretty damn good race to go to because we had um, a friend uh, from one of my old churches um, that worked for Sony, who was a sponsor of the race. Um, got, had got us like garage passes, pit passes, so we got to be on pit road, see the cars, get like special treatment. Um, I got to meet Ryan Newman, who right now I'm not particularly happy with, but I'll leave that. Um, anyway, it was a hot, very hot day that day in Fontana, or, and that race was a good one. We got to walk under the tunnel. We got to have an air conditioned tent with food, drinks, and like I said, meet Ryan Newman. And he signed my hat when he, when he was driving for the number the number twelve car for Sony. I have the die cast as well. So this and this race I remember vividly. It was like the very first time I got to see Jeff Gordon race. It's my very first time seeing one of my favorite drivers in general race in that famous rainbow car. Uh, but the best thing is, Kyle Busch didn't win that race. He lost because he ran out of gas. And then Casey Kane won that race when he was driving um, in a. Uh, the can't talk. Driving the Dodge uh, number nine car that used to be run by um, Chase Elliott's dad, Bill Elliott. So, and this is my old school. I want to say old school, but it's old school for me because it's 11 years old. <laughs> my Jeff Gordon hat. Last, like the first time I wore it to a Phoenix um, brace, I didn't have a Chase Elliott hat yet. So, um, some guy pointed out saying, You know, that's Jeff Gordon's, right? Jeff Gordon's number, uh, or style number. I'm like, yeah, I'm just a big fan of the number 24 and Chase Elliott. I mean, I don't have his hat or much of his gear, so, <laughs> and this was his when it was his rookie season, so. I now have a bunch of Chase Elliott stuff, and you'll be shocked. Not really, but you will. <laughs> um, my first Chase Elliott hat that I got last year. It's one of my favorite hats to wear every single race day. I wore it last week with pride and I was like about to throw it in the air with excitement because Chase was almost about to win his first race but fell short to the freaking Toyotas of all people Kyle Busch he lost to Kyle Busch on the last lap <laughs> sorry I'm irritated <laughs> and one of my favorite sponsors he's had he has in schemes he runs Mountain Dew also a hat that I wear quite often for race day. I 
him, but my, one of my favorites is his Napa throwback hat from last year. I have to get some nine gear for next year, and I can't wait to get some t-shirts and some hats, and of course die casts. I'm a big collector of hats, but I'm starting to get into collecting die casts. So I have a couple or a few die casts of Chases and then some others of other other drivers, which I'll get to later. And so my home track is Phoenix International Raceway, and on Twitter they have those. You know how those they do like retweet this and you'll be entered to win so and so's hat or this and this well that's what happened with me i retweeted their tweet about them giving away like chase elliott's um um 3m sponsor hat from last year when he was in the entered the chase last year and i got a follow and a message from Phoenix Races saying I, I won the, hit, the hat and some and I didn't expect the package I got so I got like a hero like a little power indie car like hero card some stickers for the raceway and a signed Chase Elliott hat I don't know if you can see that because it's kind of faded but I have a signed hat of my favorite driver, and it's the, from the Sprint Cup last year. He made it to this round of 12, but got knocked out because of bad circumstances. But this is not my all-time favorite hat. Been wanting this hat forever, and I have the die cast for this car. And of course, I rep the new sponsor, and I love Monster Energy drinks. I don't drink it very often, but when I do, I get them by like the gallons that I have them. And I have a Monster Energy tank top. And of course, I have to represent my home hometown boy of Jimmy Johnson from El Cajon. I'm from San Diego, so he's. I've been following his career since he started in NASCAR, mainly in Cup. So one, one of my favorite hats to wear. And yeah, it's now dirty. It did take long for someone to get dirt on my hat. So, like I said, I can't wear white. Because it will always get dirty. The last NASCAR hat I have is Ryan Blaney's um, Wood Brothers hat. And he does, I have not worn this hat since I got it. I got this hat last time I went to the races, and it has not been on my head because. Once again, see this? It's white. It will get dirty. So, I'm not touching this or wearing it for as long as I live. <laughs> so that's some of the um, partial of the hats I have, but I just want to go through my NASCAR stuff first. I'll make another video of like my die cast hero cards and whatnot, and as you can see, I have Austin Dillon in my room. Last, like a couple of times ago, when I bought um, tickets for the races for last for, for last year, the guy at Phoenix Race was like, "Well, we have this Austin Dillon um, cut like cardboard thing that we're trying to find a someone to take him home." So I'm like. I like Austin Dillon, so I can I can take it off you guys' hand. So I took this home and had to keep it a secret from my dad until I gave him his. It was a 
Christmas present, I should, not Christmas, his birthday present, um, the tickets for a NASCAR race, so, um, and I didn't want him being suspicious to ask me where I got that from, so I had to sneak it into my house and into my room. So he's been sitting in my room ever since last year, and I don't regret it. <laughs> now I just need something. I need a Chase Elliott uh, poster or something in this room because I have a Dale Jr. poster, Jeff Gordon, and Jimmy Johnson, and a Chase Elliott flag. So. That's pretty much the gist of what's on my walls right now. And who is behind me. I'll make another video with everything else. Because it's going to go on forever if I keep talking. So, I just want to finish this up and have a good night.